Barnet take on Bromley in the Vanarama National League on Tuesday night. And I'm joined by the gaffer, Dean Brennan. Dean, thanks for joining me. Before we go into the game tomorrow, let's have a little recap about um, the game and the win against Maidenhead United on Saturday. What was your assessment of the performance? We were well awarded our victory. Um, created numerous good, op good opportunities. And um, I thought we showed good character when they come back to one all um, to go on and win the game, really. Um, I'm delighted for Marv to get the winner. He's had to be patient. He sort of come into a group of players that were winning. Then we lost with a bad September. But he's kept plugging away, walks in his game every day. So I'm delighted for him. Absolutely. Obviously, great goals from uh, Nicky as well. Ben, with one of the assists of the season, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, like I say, good performance. Moved the ball really well. Our pitch was very slow, though. You know, we need to get our, our pitch water before games. It's something we request. Something else we'd like to happen for us as well to make us be able play higher tempo because we want to play high tempo with more balls around the side we'd like to get some ball boys and that, I did request it early in the season um, so if we can get that that would help as well some volunteers to do that um, that would help with the tempo we want to play at but all in all it was a really good performance Hawley showed a lot of ability Gorman showed maturity the two subs made a good impact on the game Nicky's goal was an outstanding goal we scored several good goals this season I and mean, realistically we only made one error in the game and that was sort of a goalkeeping error to give away the penalty um, and that's really we defended well. Back three defended really, really well. Um, there was loads of pats on the back for players, um, but this division's relentless and it's on to the next now, which is a really, really tough game for us. It is, and obviously great not to concede from open play, which is obviously a p bonus. Um, we go ahead to Bromley on Tuesday night. How have you been preparing? Obviously, such a tight turnaround for your team. Yeah, watch. They obviously spent most of the day yesterday having a good look at Bromley uh, Saturday evening as well. Obviously, we play again Friday as well, so you got to look forward, to look ahead of that as well when the, when the games are in close proximity. Um, big side, very physical. They were involved in a, in a in a ferocious battle with Chesterfield at the weekend. Um, and the, I've, since I've known Bromley, since they've been promoted to this division, um, all they've done is improve every season. They're a football club that's really on the up. They've invested in their players. Obviously, we know Adam really well. Did a great job for us last year. Mason Bloomfield's another player that they purchased off us. These are a football club on the up, and uh, I think the owners need a good pat on the back to how, they, how they've uh, conducted themselves over the last six or seven years. Um, it's changed loads since I first went there. So, yeah, so we're in for a tough test, um, but we've got our own threats as well, so hopefully we can uh, penetrate our own game plan. The key for us is, if you look at us over the 14 games, we had that sticky spell sort of in the middle patch of that 14 games. Is, we have to make sure we don't commit individual errors the way we have. We have to be brave and get on the ball. That's how I want us to play. But individual errors have cost us a lot this year. So hopefully, as you see on Saturday, we didn't we didn't commit any of them. Um, and the same again against Western Supermare the week before. I think we've won three of our last four now. So a bit of confidence back around the place. So, but we're looking forward to the challenge. One change over the last couple of days has been the introduction of Dom Revan into the side. Obviously, uh, amongst supporters, he's already become a, a, a favourite. Um, how well has Dom really settled into your side so far this season? So like anything, when you bring a player in that hasn't had a pre-season, they have to have a pre-season. So that's what we've done with Dom. Um, so it takes time. It is frustrating when you know you've got a player of his ability that will come in and make, and make a big impact on the team. And to be honest with you, because he's had uh, the severity of injuries he's had, which he's pulled both his quads and he's pulled them off the bone, we have to be so careful with him. And we have to manage him right. So we've got to build him up to where he can play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday in, in this relentless division. So... He's a good player, Dom. He's definitely a player for the future. Um, he's got a fantastic attitude, defends with power, speed, aggression, reads danger well. He's a throwback, really. So he's a player I've admired. I've, I've watched him for the last five years. I've been monitoring him for a long time. Tried to bring him to my previous club, and he chose to go somewhere else on loan when he was at Aston Villa. But look, we get to walk him now, and we've just got to manage him right. That's so important. Great to see Powell back on the bench on Saturday. Didn't make some minutes. How are the boys feeling after Saturday? Any injuries? Yeah, the injury list for us is Moose is not too well with his health. He's got issues, so we've, we've given him a couple of weeks off to go back to France and see his family. He's going to have to reboot and come back and do a pre-season. Sam Beard's still out. Michael Phillips is out with a calf injury. He's going to be out for several months. Jim Maldoza had an operation on his groin on Saturday. Um, we probably won't see Jamal for about three months, so he's been a massive blow for us. We always sort of knew Efron was going to move on, and the replacement, the idea of replacing was Jamal. So he's out at the minute. Um, and who else have we got? Oh, we've got JT still out with his knee. He's still got a few weeks to come back even into training. So we have got a few injuries. Um, Sean Shields has got a slight issue. Uh, he's got, uh, he was in the dentist today, and it looks like he's got an abscess. 
So we'll find out more off him, how he is. So we have got some injuries, to be honest with you. And then we just got to make a decision how we, what we do with someone like a, like a Dom Revan. Do we keep throwing him in the deep end or not? I'll make that decision tomorrow. Dean, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Cheers.